Maintain it safe to say the kid get older Forever gang, I'm never switching over Made a lane and niggas can't get over I can't mess with rappers, they be both Rather get the pack and keep the open Big dripper, stand up in the ocean Everybody trapping, we get low He ain't focused yet, yeah, but he ain't got motion Made a half a ticket, I promotion what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a glow up vlog or prep with me for vacation i'm leaving for las vegas in two days and i am so excited i've never been but we have a lot to do before then to kind of prep for the vacation so i'm gonna be talking about what i do to prep for a vacation like all my beauty things that i do my workout routine and yeah just everything like that so i just got my lashes done i get hybrid lashes and i go to sugarbox beauty if you guys are in Kelowna, i'll put her at right here so right now it is 10 a.m i just stopped at starbucks to get some egg bites and a venti ice water anyways we have a lot of fun stuff planned for this vlog tomorrow i'm getting my lips done so i'm getting a top up on my lip filler and I cannot wait I'm so excited I have to drive two hours to get there though so I'm going with a couple girlfriends we'll do a little Starbucks run before and do a little road trip anyways yeah I just got my lashes done I'm gonna head to the gym and show you guys what I've been doing for the past two weeks to kind of really get snatched before my vacation and then later today I'm gonna get a pedicure because we're gonna be wearing heels the entire weekend so I need my toes to be painted white and then I have an eye doctor appointment because I need to get contact lenses. I've never had contacts before, but I need to get them because I literally cannot see anything. I wear these glasses, like my prescription glasses. Like, these are the glasses I'm supposed to be wearing all the time. But, obviously, I don't want to wear these in Las Vegas. So, I have an appointment to get some contacts. I'm so scared because, I've, like I said, I've never put contacts in before. But, I feel like I'm going to want to be able to see everything in vegas and not wear my glasses so that's the plan and then tomorrow after my lip appointment i'm gonna do a full everything shower like shave exfoliate i'm gonna fake tan i'm gonna show you guys the fake tan that i've been using that i really really love it lasts so long i'm gonna do my little face tanning drops i might do some like micro dermabrasion on my face like i kind of want to get like a little razor and shave off the peach fuzz so my makeup goes on nicely but i don't know because Sometimes that doesn't work out for me. Sometimes it makes me break out. So I don't know if I want to risk it. Mm, these are so good. I used the Dyson Airwrap last night and this is how my hair turned out. I touched it up a little bit this morning, but my concern with the Dyson Airwrap is that it does not last on my hair. Like it looks cute right now, but this will last me like maybe a couple hours and then it just like falls out. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Anyways, let's go to the gym. I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing for the past two-ish weeks. We started on the stair stepper. I've been doing 30 minutes of stair stepper every single day for the last two weeks just to really, you know, get my ass in shape. 30 minutes is really challenging, so don't compare yourself to me if you can't do 30 minutes, but it took me a long, long time to get to, to 30 minutes. I used to be able to only do five minutes, but if you do something every single day, you obviously get better and better at it. I usually do level eight to 10. I'll put my headphones on, I'll watch a little YouTube video, and that honestly makes the time pass so much faster and then my strength training hasn't changed really at all i've been doing three leg days a week and one to two upper body days a week i'll show you guys a little bit of my leg day today um, but i'll have the full workout in the description below you guys i haven't talked to you since the gym it's like already getting dark out i have my little light so let's pop that on for some good lighting but i haven't talked to you since the gym i'm so sorry i've been so busy so i went to get some contacts i have them in right now and i literally it just feels so weird Woo! it feels so weird like i'm trying to get used to them but not gonna lie it was so hard to put them in it took me so long to understand how to do it but basically i just got a couple different ones for my vegas trip so i can actually see something but anyways yeah the girl like taught me how to put them in with lash extensions and nails she said it's like 
two obstacles basically and it's like super hard you just like hold your lashes back and like do it with like the side of your finger it's like this whole thing and it was very stressful but we figured it out and now i'm super scared to take them out because you have to like pinch them out of your fucking eyeballs i have my pedicure now so i'm gonna head to do that i'm gonna get white on my toenails like white gel polish and then i booked an eyebrow appointment to get my eyebrows waxed just like a little cleanup i'm gonna go to walmart later and grab some minis like some mini body wash face wash that kind of stuff but then tomorrow like i said i'm gonna do my lips my tanning washing my hair and i think that's about it so i will see you guys when i get to the nail salon <laughs> wax place and I just took a shower so I'm gonna share with you guys my nighttime skincare routine that waxing hurts so much I haven't got my legs waxed in like two years and I totally forgot that it is so painful um, but yeah she cleaned up my eyebrows I like to just get them waxed professionally once in a while just to really like make this shape nice if that makes sense the legs were like a last-minute thing I'm like you know what just do my legs too because I don't want to have to like shave them a bunch when I'm in Las Vegas, but anyways, I wash my face with this cleanser. It's the kale green tea spinach vitamins Superfood cleanser. This is like the best cleanser for oily skin It really gets in there and cleans your skin really nicely and then I go in with the Paula's choice BHA liquid exfoliant it has salicylic acid in it and that's why I use it because it's really, really good for acne. This is just a mini bottle that I'm going to bring to Vegas. I'm all out of my big bottle, which I need to replace immediately. Just do a few drops of that on a little cotton pad. And then just rub it into my skin. This is literally what cleared my acne, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Ever since I started using this, my skin has been so clear. Like, obviously, I still have breakouts and stuff. But I used to have acne, like, really bad all along my chin and, like, on my forehead. And I started using this about two years ago ago I would say and it completely cleared my acne so every time I'm like breaking out or if I just like am prepping for a vacation or something I always use this every single day usually at nighttime but sometimes I'll do twice a day too I find that salicylic acid works best for my skin for acne wise I know there's like benzoyl peroxide but salicylic acid works way better for me so I stick to things that have that ingredient in it but my eyes are like so blurry right now from these contacts like I'm trying to adjust to them and they're annoying me so badly like I really need to take them out so I keep thinking that the video is blurry so hopefully it's not anyways next step is the Biosauce squalene and retinol night serum this is a retinol serum basically um, I really wanted to start incorporating retinol into my nighttime routine because I was never using it before so this is like a newer purchase of mine yeah I've just been adding it into my skincare routine recently haven't really noticed a difference yet but I know retinol is like a long-term thing like it's just good to add into your skincare routine when you're younger for like preventing wrinkles and everything then for eye cream i use the magic eye rescue charlotte tilbury eye cream this has retinol in it as well so i just grab a little bit on the back of my nail rub it into my fingers and then kind of like place it on the bottom here sometimes i'll put it on my eyelids as well but i literally just got my lashes done so i don't really want to like have anything greasy on my eyelids just 
so they don't fall out. So glowy, like that eye cream is insane. Okay, now this is the best part. This is really what makes me look very bronzed and glowy the next morning. These are the baddest glow drops. I've been using these for a couple years now. They really do wonders. I'm not even kidding you. Like when I use these the next morning, it looks like I have like makeup on my face. Like my skin just looks flawless. I actually have a discount code with them right now. So it's Taylor Fit. I'll leave it on the screen right here and that gets you 15% off of your order. But I have genuinely loved these for years, like even way, 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 way before I started working with them. This is actually by White Fox Boutique. It's like their sister company. They're like my little life hack to completely glowing up and just looking so good without any makeup on. I mix these two together, so I have the glow drops, and then I use this peptide moisturizer by The Inky List as my nighttime moisturizer. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream for daytime. So yeah, I use this one for nighttime. So I just do a little drop like this because I am mixing it with these glow drops. And I'll do like one to two drops of these. Actually, we'll do like, we'll do two. We'll do two drops. Because I am fake tanning tomorrow. Make my face so glowy and bronzy. I bring it down my neck a little bit. Make sure to wash your hands after this because tomorrow morning your hands will look like they have dirt all over them if you don't. And then of course we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. An OG fave. This one is the Vanilla. I literally cannot go to bed without putting this on my lips. You honestly just wake up with your lips feeling so soft and moisturized. I always love moisturizing my entire body after I get out of the shower. So this is the one that I've been using. It's the Soap and Glory Moisturizer. But this scent is so good. It just says scented with almond and vanilla and it literally smells like you're baking a cookie. Like it's so delicious. So... I just put this all over my body and I love this moisturizer because it's like very lightweight like it doesn't feel greasy or like sticky or anything that is my nighttime skincare routine so I'm gonna have some dinner now and then head to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I am on my way to my lip filler appointment <laughs> Up at Starbucks, so if you want Starbucks, that's good. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna ask if that was okay or if I should quickly go now. No, I think we're gonna go. Okay, perfect. That's that what she said. Okay, perfect. Okay, see you soon. I get the sense that it's a lost cause. I get the sense that you might be a lover. This is gonna be a business. This is evidence. I try to mention that you know more than the crime of passion, but damn, you is out of reach. You is at the bottom of my game with your perfect keys. Just waiting for my friends to pick me up. They're on their way right now, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing every single morning before I eat breakfast. I've been taking this One Up Nutrition Kickstart Wellness Shot. So it's basically just like a ginger shot. And I've been taking this every morning on an empty stomach because I do not want to get sick for this trip, but it is disgusting. So you have to like literally take it like a shot. Oh, that tastes so bad, but it is worth it. I've been actually feeling really good taking this every single morning for the past like three-ish weeks. It has like really, really good ingredients in it, has immune system support, supports inflammatory response, aids in digestion, boosts metabolism, 
all the good stuff. So yeah, I've been taking that every single morning on empty stomach. And then I'm also just having some egg bites. And then I think we're going to stop at Starbucks on the way for a little coffee. As you guys saw this morning, I Dysoned my hair a little bit. This time it didn't really take me that long. So I think I'm getting a little bit better every day. And then I also just put on a little bit of tinted moisturizer and some concealer and some lip gloss. She's probably gonna wipe this all off anyways when I go to get my lips done, so I didn't want to do like too much makeup. And then I used my High Smile that you guys saw, like the purple toothpaste, and that is for my teeth whitening, so I've been doing that for the past couple weeks as well to get my teeth extra white. Anyways, I'm gonna eat these little egg bites, and then I'll vlog our car trip on the way there, and then me actually getting the lips done. And then tonight, I'm gonna show you guys like what I'm packing for Vegas, because I have to pack tonight, because we leave tomorrow morning. Uh, for Vancouver. There's like this little influencer event that I got invited to so it's in Vancouver tomorrow So it works out perfectly because we're just gonna go to that get a hotel and then fly out to Vegas the next morning We're on route. Just got at Starbucks Guys, show you Starbucks <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! I got a grande iced gingerbread oat chai Tastes like candy We're here! Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> Tay's scared. I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Actually turn around and park up here if you could like. Okay, yeah. Or right, like wherever, yeah. I, we, um, I always park right here. You, you know. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah. I literally just wasn't breathing. That was my issue. <laughs> so, I, just was, mm, I don't need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Pasto. <laughs> like, Taylor did not do good. Anyways, show your lips. Cute. Show your lips, bro. Aw, it's so pretty. This lighting sucks. I have no lips to share. <laughs> I'm just joking. Here's okay. Show your lips. <laughs> no, that was fun. Yeah, you just get yours done recently? Because they look like... Um, but on the 2nd of November, I think. Oh. Oh, this is like, the oh, after result. Yourself. I got a half syringe. They're gonna bruise though, she said right here. Well, yeah, I'm gonna put it in a Starbucks. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Way. I have a massive bruise right here. So that sucks. Um, but we are just in the drugstore right now picking up travel essentials, like the mini products. So I'll show you guys what I get. Here's the section here. I need a dry shampoo for sure. I should probably get a mini deodorant for myself. Toothpaste, face wash. Well, let me show you guys what I ended up getting. So I do have a shampoo and conditioner, little samples that I got from Sephora. So I didn't get shampoo and conditioner. And then I have a mini body wash from Bath and Body Works that I'm gonna bring. So we have some mini dry shampoo. Essential. This one is literally the best dry shampoo ever. A little mini native deodorant, some toothpaste. I got a mini deodorant for Max as well. And then some body cream. This is probably just gonna be for Max because I have my mini bum bum body cream that I'm gonna bring. We have a little Listerine mouthwash, some face wash, and then some body wash for Max. So that is all the minis that I ended up getting. I'm gonna go home and start packing and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm bringing and everything, like outfit wise. Let's head home and start packing because we literally leave tomorrow and I have nothing packed. I have this mini suitcase as like my little carry-on. I only have a carry-on and a backpack, so everything's gonna have to fit in here. I've kind of like laid everything out of my bed with like outfit options and stuff, but let's start with some going out clothes. I have a lot of options just because I don't know what I'm gonna want to wear and I didn't have time to order stuff like I said, so the first option is a little pink mini dress from Opali, and then this outfit I'm actually really excited about. I'm definitely gonna wear this. I forgot about it. This is from White Fox. It's like a black, or sorry, beige mini skirt with like black outlining and then it has a matching little corset top i think you guys can still use my code it's taylor tt if you guys want a discount on anything on white fox but i haven't worn this yet this was from my last collaboration with them my next option is another little corset top from white fox just a white one with a white little mini skirt from princess polly this is like a low-waisted mini skirt so we have like an all white moment. These white boots I'm thinking. I don't know guys, I've never been to Vegas. I don't know what the vibe is. I don't know what people wear. I'm just literally bringing options that I already have in my closet. So the next option is a little black outfit. So this is also from White Vox, just like a black lacy 
corset top with a little skirt that goes with it. it has like black lace on the bottom just like a low waisted mini skirt and that would look cute with some black heels and i have these two dresses and i don't know if i'm even gonna bring them maybe i'll pack them and see if i have room but this one is like a long sleeve purple dress from princess polly that i've never worn yet so that might be cute it is gonna be a little bit colder long sleeve might be nice and then i have this dress here it was like my birthday dress last year. It's from Opali. It's just like a pink dress with like sparkles all over it. Look how tiny my suitcase is, you guys. Like it's already, it's already full and I haven't even got to like my actual real clothes. I'm stressing now that I see the size of this suitcase. Like literally nothing is gonna fit. Well, let's put like my pajamas and stuff in. So I have a couple pair of pajamas here. I wanted to bring some workout clothes because we might go to the gym. I have like a pair of denim shorts, like a little crop top just for like the daytime a little t-shirt i was gonna bring jeans but i don't even think i'm gonna have room for that to be honest i definitely want to bring a pair of like comfy sweat shorts this sweatsuit maybe i'll just wear this but like this sweatsuit so cute just from that so fetch has like little shorts and then a matching hoodie so that'll be cute for like the plane ride back i feel like like look how full this is already and i don't even have half my shit in here okay i'm retrying this i got some little packing cubes so hopefully that makes it easier to kind of like stuff things in for bikinis i'm only going to one like pool party because it is december so like vegas is kind of cold um and it's like an indoor pool party with like a little heated pool so i'm bringing this like hot pink one from night swim that i haven't worn yet which is super cute it has like silver hardware on it and then this one just as a backup it's like literally the exact same bikini but in black okay shoes is gonna be the hardest part to fit in here i really want to bring these boots because like i said i want it with that white fox outfit i really want to bring these boots these white heels and these black heels but i don't think i'm gonna have room for everything so i'm gonna try and get this all together and I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so we kind of finished packing my bag. We made it all fit. Well, we didn't make it all fit actually. I only could bring two pairs of heels, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We only have a carry-on bag. But I'm gonna do my fake tan routine now. So this is the one I've actually been really loving lately. I go back and forth between this one and Baddest. This is the Coco and Eve Bali Bronzing Foam in the shade Dark. And last time I used this, I left it on all night long and I woke up with like the best tan ever and it lasted so long. Like it lasted like almost two weeks. That's why I'm going to use it because I need this to last me until Tuesday. I'm just going to apply this and then sleep with it overnight. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to wash my hair. So I will show you guys tomorrow like what hair products I use and everything. So I'm going to show you guys one side of my arms so that you guys can see the difference. Okay, this is so awkward to show, but this is the tanned arm and this is a not tanned arm. So it makes a pretty big difference. I'm going to go apply this on the rest of my body, sleep with it overnight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we leave for Vegas. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. It is 7 a.m. I just got out of the shower and washed my hair, obviously. Um, this is how my tan turned out. Also, please don't mind my bruise. I got bruised really bad from filler this time. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I drank coffee and you're not supposed to drink coffee before. I'll have to wear lipstick the whole weekend, but that's okay. So anyways, I just got out of the shower and I just used the... Actually, I'll show you what shampoo and conditioner I use. For shampoo and conditioner, I've been using the Amika The Cure. And then I used a hair mask. This is my favorite hair mask. It's the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin hair mask. And then I used this little tangle teaser brush to like brush it through in the shower. And then when I got out of the shower, I sprayed this Untangled by Kevin Murphy. It's like a leave-in conditioner detangler. This is just a mini size, but they have the like full size as well. This stuff really like makes my hair so easy, easy to like brush out. Um, if I don't use that, it's like really hard to brush my hair out and I feel like my hair breaks a lot when I don't use that. So this is like my number one hack to like easily brushing out your hair and not causing breakage. And then I'm gonna put this Olaplex number six bond smoother in my hair. And then I'm gonna use my Revlon brush, like round brush blow dryer to like kind of style my hair just cause I want it straight ish for the first two days of vegas and then i'm gonna bring my like heatless curling rod and do like curls for the last few days i'm just gonna put some olaplex in Trust me, this is 
ready to go now we have a slight issue the highway is closed so I guess we're gonna wait it out until the highway opens and then we'll be on our way this is my outfit for the drive it's from White Fox Boutique but anyways if you guys want to see my Vegas trip I'm gonna be vlogging the entire thing so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye